You know, this is where I got my black eye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nami Kureyes and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I lost weight. I take note, I'm not a health expert or a nutritionist or anything of that sort. This, just, this is just what I did, so I'm going to share it to you guys. If you've known me ever since I was junior prep, then you would know that I was pretty much a big kid throughout my whole life. I mean, like, yeah, throughout my past I, I was um, pretty big ever since I was like most of my childhood and my preteens. If you actually check out my old pictures, you'd see that some of the clothes before still fit me now. And here's a picture of me before wearing a certain clothing and this is me wearing it now. I know it's pretty embarrassing but it's true. I've never went through that phase where I had to buy clothes in the kiddie section. Because I've always bought clothes in the teen section because none of the clothes there fit me. I know it's hard to lose weight. That's why, um, especially me when I was younger, I didn't exercise at all. I didn't diet at all. I had no idea about it. So I'm going to give you like a gradual transition from being a really big kid to, you know, who I am now. Which is not exactly, um, you know, I, I still have to improve my body. But then there's there are things that I want to show you guys like how I did it like step by step because it took a really really long time so without further ado let's get on to this video here we go so chapter number one in the Mika Reyes weight loss um, series so I was such a lazy bum before uh, I didn't want to exercise I didn't want to diet I didn't want to do anything but I was determined to lose weight because all uh, my my batch mates would make fun of me because I was fat and they tell me that I couldn't dance because I was fat and they, they called me Martha from High School Musical <laughs> okay, shots fired <laughs> but that's true anyways so I, I wanted to prove to, be, to them that you know I wanted to that I could be different and I can dance and stuff like that and I can lose weight so I did um, I was really convinced like the whole summer I just locked myself in the room, watched HBO movies, kept reading Twilight, and I just really just distracted myself from going out to the kitchen so I wouldn't have to keep thinking about food. It's like, <laughs> it was like, I, I prevented myself from going out and <laughs> getting food. And then every time I was hungry, I would just get either apples or crackers. But of course, I'd eat my three meals a day because I can't take that out. Now it's chapter two of the weight loss series. So after a while, I was absorbed with extracurricular activities. I lost a little bit of weight, so I thought, I decided now, okay, so I'm kind of thin now. I can start doing like, you know, dancing and stuff like that. And the other girls allowed me in a month, so I was like, okay. After that, I didn't think of food as much as before, but I still thought about food. And my friend introduced me to, pes to a polo pescatarian vegetarian lifestyle, all about, um, vegetables, fruits, and white meat. Like, I excluded myself from eating red meat, and I also didn't want to eat rice, so I didn't eat rice, and that helped a lot. I lost a lot of weight because of that. It happened for more like, for around three months, but then after a while, I had like a low blood, red blood cell count, so I either had to take medication for that, or I would have to start eating red meat. So after a while, I did start re eating red meat again. But then uh, this helped me in losing weight. So for the third chapter of Mika's weight loss series, I call it losing more weight. Like if ever this is just in, like in dire needs or very um, emergency problems or stuff like that, I would go back to polo pescatarian vegetarian nissims, and then I didn't eat rice. So this would go on for a while and I'd also like either go for the GM diet or the military diet and I'd follow that like really really strictly. I What I'd do is I'd wake up in the morning and I'd go out for a walk 
or or jog around my village at 5:30 a.m. in the morning and end at around 8 o'clock or 6. And then after that, during the afternoon, I'd have another workout, which would involve either uh, like anything out of the out of the blue, like anything I could do. Like I I tried tried like swimming, boxing, like dance classes, anti gravity yoga so many different things and then i think the most important thing is that you have to try like a different part of your body different muscle so you could really activate and lose weight so yeah that's how i lost weight I honestly don't think that you need to lose weight to feel confident or to feel beautiful or whatever if you were like me and you really do want to lose weight because you want to stop the bullying or something like that then you know, you could try it if you want, but then I seriously think that if you're confident in your own body and if you're able to express yourself and having the body that you have right now, then that would be like the best thing ever. Comment down below if you've done anything in terms of weight loss and if you want to share your weight loss story, then I could like, you know, talk to you about it, have a really big forum and talk about how we lost weight and be like, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like this if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and yeah, I thought me curious. So yeah, I hope you like this video guys. Bye. Mwah! Bye pooches.